Bum, ba, da, bum. Hello everybody, Dirk here. Welcome back once again to the dungeon. It's been a long time. No, not so long. A couple months since I made a video, uploaded anything. But uh, once again back down here, building away as usual. Happy to be back. So, let's get on with it. <laughs> and that little introduction. Uh, posted this on Google Plus already, just uh, one picture. <clears throat> so this is the Atari Junk Console, or the Astro Noise. This was a schematic from uh, Synthrotech. Something something new they whipped up. Um, so it utilizes four um, chips on the inside of here. I uh, don't really have a good uh, schematic. I mean, I have a schematic. I don't know how well you guys can see it. It's really hard to read. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Um, so basically using a, um, a 4039, which is a NAND gate uh, IC. I'm using a triple five here, uh, which is set up in a, I believe, in a stable mode, and it's ba basically just uses a clock that goes over here. Uh, I'm not familiar with this. This is the seventy four sixteen four N. This is a eight bit shift register. Uh, I also have some four bits. I might uh, have a fuck around with that later on and see if I can do more more uh, shit with this, basically. And you also have two um, two inputs. Uh, we have another oscillator in. That's going into the uh, 4039, or 93, I'm sorry. Uh, and they also have a control voltage um, for the triple five. And uh, you can turn this off. There is a switch to turn this off. Um, I might add a switch later for this, or some different kind of um, input jacks, uh, three, pin, three pin input jacks. That's basically what's here. Um, there's also another. Uh, here we go, the 7486N, which is a, a, an XOR gate. Um, I can't really explain what everything is doing here, because this is, you know, these are fairly new. Um, I'm kind of familiar now with the, the NAND gate. As you've seen before, um, you know, I posted some other stuff here. They make uh, square and triangle waves. You can set them up with very simple oscillators. It does other things, but... Uh, for the most part, yeah, you can you can make yourself a little noise maker just with one of these guys. Pretty cool. Um, it's about it. Everything you know works off of five volts. It's all mostly CMOS stuff. The the triple five it can be any standard triple five. It doesn't have to be CMOS. And I believe that, I don't know if this is a CMOS or not because it says between two and six volts. Normally CMOS uh, ICs utilize uh, five volts. You know, so you get your five volt voltage regulator up here. And uh, any unused gates, um, I mean the inputs and not the outputs. <clears throat> so any of the input um, gates from your uh, NAND gate and your XOR gate need to be grounded. Um, yeah. Uh, the, uh, I'm about to start speaking in German. Uh, from the, the shift register, you don't really have to ground um, any of the inputs. There's only two inputs here, these, uh, these serial inputs. And they're both tied together. And he's getting to see that very well, but it's one and two right here. This is your uh, input. Um, this is your inputs right here, and they're tied together. Or you can um, just go and I believe into either one or two, and the other one has to be tied high. Uh, I believe to either ground or positive. I forget. I believe it's tied high to tied high to positive. I'm not sure. I so said this is fairly new. Um, I might do another, you know, like a breadboard later. With some other stuff, and I can show you guys um, some other things like that. And um, get your output here. One thing to note, if you do want to build something like this, the output, uh, the signal is very weak. Because there is a, basically a voltage divider here. And you've got a um, capacitor and these two 10K ohms. And they're basically dividing the voltage. Um, I mentioned that the Sparky... And he basically said, because there's a, there's a mono output right here, a three pin, and uh, they're trying to um, uh, match up, I think, the, the impedance, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, so in this in the box here, I got a, uh, I do have a amplifier, I forget what the damn chip, I always forget what the chip's called, it's pretty standard uh, chip, um, I think it's the LM386, if I'm not mistaken. You can probably use just an off amp. 
You know, I'm on your standard off amp right here. I got a shitload of chips to kind of fuck around with. Um, that's about it. So you get the four, the four chips. You get your amplifier, and then there's a separate triple five set up as a flasher for these four UV LEDs here. If I turn this off here, yeah, it's a bit bright as you can see that I have to flip that up so it shines inside the box because I have all these little uh, symbols here. Uh, I can't really switch it off, but you guys can kind of. Oh, there you go. Look at my little Pac Man icons there. The two ghosts and the, the very um, scary looking Pac Man there. That's why he's looking a bit worried. And that one's like, that guy's like, fuck that, I'm out of here. <laughs> you know, pretty, pretty fun. Uh, the, only, the only gripe I really have is the uh, the input voltage right here. Because there's a, I got a transformer inside there and just the 5 volt regulator to uh, power everything, basically. Uh, I didn't really have to do that, but I don't really have any barrel jacks. So I just, I just said, fuck it, I'll just stick the transformer in there. Plenty of space. I'm going to clean up all the wiring here. So I'm going to uh, put in the, the two input jacks for an oscillator and the control voltage. And maybe a couple of those switches, I'm not sure. I've still got a bit of space up here. I'm trying to leave this blank. And then uh, I just added this yesterday. Uh, basically a, a two-way switch here. So you can just do push button action or you can leave it on constant. So yeah, that's about it. Standard output jack. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing fancy. Should we have a, have a go? Uh, I think, let's see here. Right, I'm just going to turn this on constantly because I'm doing this one-handed. down a bit sorry about that uh basically these these two are from the 4039 the the nand gate and this is a triple five uh you can you can alter the clock speed i kind of like that it's a bit of a lfo style right there where you can kind of hear that where it goes Pretty neat. Uh, this toggle switch here uh, is going between a. Um, sorry, I don't want to talk too loud. Um, there's a toggle switch. If I can show you, it's right here, and it's going. You can either uh, switch it to ground, uh, the full five voltage, or a five volts uh, running through one K, which runs through that uh, that XOR um, gate into the shift register, and it gives you different tones, obviously. So uh, turn that up. So that's one tone. Here's the actual Atari-like sound a little bit more.
you get the gist of it. Pretty cool. Um, re I'm building another uh, PT2399 uh, reverb and echo module. And I'll be doing some modifications to this little bastard and sticking it, sticking it into that box over there, which has the, um, I haven't, uh, what is it, an eight-step sequencer. I'm going to start working on that box. And basically any FX is going to go in there, maybe a couple other things. Um, yeah, that's a project. I got another project with the keyboard over here. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but let's just say it's going to be playing all the different waveforms. And that the original circuit board is going to get taken out. Um, I'm going to be utilizing all the keys and putting a, a header pin, a strip of header pins in there. So if I do want to use the original uh, circuit board, I can plug it back in there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying to play all the different waveforms on this. That might be cool. Another circuit board to modify here. It's a lot cooler than this one. And I might even get a, a vintage uh, Casio or, or Yamaha keyboard and have some fun with that. You guys seen all the shit that I have here. I've been using a lot of that. And uh, eventually I will get back to this. Real bit, rebuilding that because now I have all the uh, the cutting boards that I need. The material um, is pretty good um, from cutting boards, the white cutting boards. They're kind of down there if you can see that. And uh, double mott power supply. I just got to get the uh, the capacitors uh, to make the, uh, the LC circuit. But uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I got, I got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of shit on the mind, plus, you know, school and work and all that shit. So figured, figured to give you guys an update and show you this, this thing. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. You know. uh, one thing to note, highlighter ink does not dry on uh, acrylic. So if you want to use highlighter, uh, I would get like maybe like a, like a clear coat uh, spray, like a lacquer and put it over that. If you wanted to use highlighters, yeah. The only reason I use highlighters is because uh, I wanted to light up with the UV lights, as I have a bunch still from uh, from good old Steve. Yeah. All right. This is long enough, over 12 minutes. So, thanks for stopping by, guys, and cheers.